What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to another episode of Action Sunday. This week, I'm doing something very special. So, since I never got this movie for my 200 episode, I, I said I was going to save this for a future review. So, why the heck not? I'm going to review Ter Terminator 2. Why the heck not? Let's talk about this one. Because, hey... Hey, come on. What was there talk about this uh, sequel? That quite possibly one of the best sequels ever made, or quite possibly one of the best movies ever made. So, yeah. And also, again, it's one, one of my favorite Schwarzenegger movies. And, of course, here's something interesting. By the time this movie, movie drops, um, two days later will be my birthday. So, why the heck not? Let's just end, end um, August, in the month of August with a bang. So, let's talk about it. All right. What makes it a good movie? Well, I think you could probably attribute all that to James Cameron. Now, I know, no, something, what you guys say, you can all love him or shit on him all you want, but here's the thing. He laid it all out back in the first movie, back in the 80s, you know, the whole everything, like the groundwork, ground zero, the entire story and everything going on, okay? But little do you know is that, hey, it became a smash hit, and now, hey, here we go. Here's a sequel, almost set almost a decade later and of course uh technology's come a long way so what what can how what can you do to make this top the first movie well now you get arnold to return turn as the t-800 well let's see let's create another uh killer robot from the future the t-1000 played by robert patrick who which by the way my wife has met so yes um and there i could probably talk about that so yeah besides that i think like between that and all the elements that you took from the first movie, you got something incredibly special on your hands. Sure, nowadays the CG looks way dated, but what were you going to do? Back, back then, it was just mind-boggling like what they could do to bring some of these uh, special effects to life, especially the t the liquid metal you know, being, aka the, the T-1000, which, if you kind of think about it, the T-1000 and the T-800, both, across both movies, they're like, they're like the slow-playing slasher villain. Here, this this slasher villain was like, oh, he ain't going down with that fight. And, and of course, uh, if, the more that you watch, you're like, you're just wanting see what the hell's gonna happen how are they gonna, are they gonna prevent judgment day from happening so what and, and again it's like as soon as you're hooked into it you're never you're never gonna let go because you want to see see the good guys win you want to see what happens and like the, the formula is there and like and what makes it better is the fact that arnold always brings the heat um linda hamilton was perfect for sarah connor and and of course the of course a furlong they, they played the young john connor yeah, I know, like, sure, the character John Connor came off as more like a whiny old brat, but at times you got put in mind that, like, this this guy, this kid is going to be the future of the human, mankind, you know? No, like, like and, and for future sequel, but of course, that's a story for another day, okay? You know, man versus machine, what the hell is going to happen? How, how are we going to stop Judgment Day? So, and this whole movie just lays it out, and like, I felt like there were definite elements throughout the story that would tell me, okay, this is how they're going to do, and this this is how I feel like it should have just ended. Like, between the first movie being great and this one being the amazing stuff, just would say, this is how you would make the franchise just, these two movies just be solid with just these movies. Everything after this was just, a, I don't know, like just a downward slope. I've talked about Genesis on this channel years and years ago. But after our repeat viewing, like, I feel like Genesis kind of doesn't live up to much of the hype. And of course, as much as I want to review Dark Fate, I, I don't know. I feel like nothing cannot hold a freaking candle to this masterpiece of a movie. And like, seriously, I have no idea what the heck James Cameron was doing. Like, I get, you know, love him or hate him. Like, like he had the formula. The formula's here, and it's just perfect. This is your big blockbuster ep movie epic that everyone should try to be. Of course, many movies in Hollywood try to copy and fail this formula. And what what can what do you get? You get just it, it cannot happen. And here with Terminator Two, it's just, you can't. It's there's something there that just makes you say yes. This is the perfect flick for everything. Okay, where's the cheesy one liners? Which of course uh, are, always comes with the best one after a Vista baby kind of thing. And of course, again, like seeing seeing Robert Patrick as that T one thousand is just terrifyingly cool. And and I. Again, like I want to talk talk more more about about him. Like I know my wife, ma'am, but of course this was years ago. Like that, this movie could go on forever and ever. But all you gotta know is that like uh, all these guys were de dedicated to their craft. Like, well, did they know that this movie is the, would be the one of the best movies of all of that time period, and like one of the best movies in general. And yeah, like 
Just like even if you took took out the the uh, what what you know in hindsight, like after T T two, you know, uh, Rise of the Machines and and then Dark Fate and Fates and all that are bullshit. Like like you know nothing of those cannot match up to that. It's like you you got it's like the sci the sci fi time travel stuff, the film noir stuff. It really works. But I think what makes it good is that like I feel like it's a blend. And now he's at the blend of those genres. Feels like it's a it's a more of like like generations because I think. Almost everyone in the sun who I've met has always said that 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 their childhood was always yeah all Schwarzenegger is de was the inspiration for them make them inspired you know to be to be a badass like him and to, and of course T two is definitely on the top of everyone's list of like best movies and like that it's all there even when even if Roger Ebert says it's good you know it's really good all right so yeah. Even 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 looking back at it many years years later, I've seen this movie more times than I can think of. Uh, yeah, like it's there. Like just sitting, all these characters, the Arnold always doing stuff. The set pieces I really enjoy. And of course, obviously, everyone's gonna talk about the chase. Yes, the truck chase that that even um even our our movies have tried to parody and, and parody or rip off in the layer, but nothing can match up to just the badassery, this this crazy stunt work that they were able to pull off. And of course, yeah, yeah, even yeah, even when you look back at like, oh wait, oh, like how they crafted and constructed this, you're like, yeah, yes, you can see that. But you know you know like um a lot went into it, and, and what and the final product that you see on screen is definitely worth it, especially that scene. Like everything else, I, I, I don't know. Like, 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 there's great moments throughout, but this one will always stick with me and almost everyone that everyone that has seen this movie as as the one that kind of built them, which you watch into another hemisphere, in my opinion. And and that says something, all right. So yeah, um, not much else I can say about T two. Um, not much else I can say. Uh, it's a it's essentially the perfect sequel. And I again, like I encourage anyone who's never seen Terminator two or or any of them, I encourage you to watch it because because as, especially nowadays, I feel like like you're missing out on something. So I think everyone should at least come back to this once in a while just to just to see what can you learn from this movie. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. And with that in mind, I'm gonna give. Terminator 2, the perfect 10 fucking score. It is that damn good? You you heard me, all right? So that does for this week. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting videos.